Hi guys, um, as you can obviously see from the title, I'm making Rocky Road, the ultimate Rocky Road of course. Right, why am I doing Rocky Road? Well, Rocky Road, I'm doing it for three reasons really. Number one is because it's so easy to do. It's pretty much no cook, all you do is melt it, um, the, some of the ingredients. Number two, it's yummy. And number three, number three is because last year, my year 12 student said to me, oh, uh, are you gonna make cakes? Because they were making cakes. I said, yeah, yeah, of course so. I'll make some Rocky Roads for you. So I made Rocky Roads, I had two groups. I made some for the first group. And then before I actually had a chance to actually get them for the second group, one of the girls there, Georgia, came up to me and she said, oh, sir, I've heard all about your Rocky Roads. You've gotta make them. They're really famous at school now. So obviously I've gotta do it. Now, I actually use the Nigel Lawson recipe, but I'll do it with a bit of a twist, okay? And it's the twist, I think, that just adds that little bit of magic. So, let's go. Right, so it's uh, 300 grams of chocolate. So, that's going in here. Onto the balance and zeroing it. Um, Tesco um, chocolate, basically dark chocolate, 74%. And it's, 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 it's exactly what you need. You don't need anything else other than that. Um, I don't think milk chocolate would be right. Um, there are some recipes that do have milk chocolate, but I don't know. Th this was the one that was loved, so this is the one I'm going to do. Okay, so I've already broken two bars of chocolate up into this. So there goes the chocolate, last one, into little bits because obviously it's got to be melted. So it'll help if it's in small bits. Okay, so that's the chocolate. 125 grams of butter, so that's pretty big. I, I could have cut that into smaller pieces to help it melt, but I haven't, so, oh well, what the heck. Right, and three tablespoons of golden syrup. You can see I'm shopping a lot at Tesco, <laughs> but it's as good as the, as the normal stuff, okay? It's as good as the, the high brand stuff, I think it's called, isn't it? So, um, this is perfect. Now, to get the golden syrup out, some people go away and they get the vegetable oil, and they're there with the vegetable and they're pouring it out. Well, you just had to measure out some butter. So why not just use the wrapper to give it a grease and you'll see how much easier this actually comes out. Of course, it's a new one. So I've got to do this. It's fiddly. Right, come on, come on, there we go. But the plus side to this one is it's a squeezy bottle. So three of these, be generous. Don't worry if it's if it's going above. This stuff also adds to that yummy gooiness. So just to be generous, okay. And that's coming out really well because I've greased it, okay. And although the, the last bit isn't out, that's why another reason for being generous because you'll leave some in there because you don't want to spend the rest of your life waiting for this to go down there like that, do you? Okay. So last one, and there we have it. So we've got chocolate, butter, golden syrup. Now you have to put it on the stove to melt it and it's direct, no bain marie's or anything like that. But obviously do it slowly because you don't want to burn the chocolate because that would make it bitter. So I'm gonna now go and put that onto the stove and it's gonna be paused because you, you know, life's too short to wait for chocolate to melt. Uh, hi guys, so that's melted. Now it's time just to construct the rocky road now. So, the chocolate, butter, gold syrup is all in there. I've reserved a side, about 125 grams as well. That's to pour over the top so you get a glistening surface at the end. So you know the biscuits. Sandwich bags just fall apart, but that's just crush it in a sandwich bag. Um, and this is the folding bit. I don't like to crush it too much because I think it makes the Rocky Road a bit powdery. But then I probably haven't crushed this one quite enough. Um, well. You'll get used to that. You'll master the art of getting that just right. But it's looking pretty good anyway. Right. Get that completely covered in the chocolate. Yum. That is looking delicious. Who's going to be licking the bowl at the end of this then? It's not a bowl, it's a pan, isn't it? Right. Okay. Next. Right. This is where I deviate. This is the, the funny trick that I do. You're supposed to use, according to the recipe, 100 grams of marshmallows. I'll go for 170. Go that extra mile. It just makes it that much more gooey and just yummy. So let's get these added in. 
and a whole lot. Okay. Separate them a bit with your fingers because they've stuck a little bit in that packet, haven't they? Now I've got chocolates all over my fingers, never mind. Oh, there we go. And then we start folding this in. <laughs> As you can see, it's not easy. Perhaps should have gone for a bigger pan, but you've got to completely mix it in, otherwise, that's not going to be right. Completely mix that in. Keep going. I love these silicon spatulas because they really take all the chocolate and completely cover the marshmallows and the biscuits. Um, that is how you do it. And every bit of chocolate is taken away from the sides. And that's looking yummy already. Let's have a go. Right, so baking parchment is a cook's best friend. Don't bother oiling the, that thing because if it's, if it's baking parchment, once it, you put it in the fridge to set, you can just take it out like that. But then, not only that, put it onto a, um, something to cut it, a chopping board to cut it. So much easier. Right, let's drop that in. Yum, yum, yum. There's more chocolate there. Get all of that out. You know, if you haven't got silicon spatulas, you must get yourself a set of silicon spatulas because they are fantastic. Because why do you want to waste all that? Chocolate there, chocolate delight. Okay, now it needs to flatter. And you can see the shine. I hope you can see the shine on this. Um, but it's shiny and gorgeous. Okay, now we're just going to pour this over the top. Okay. And just going to be absolutely scrumptious and I know my six formers are going to be really cross with me because I'm not at work for two weeks because as you can see I'm working for the exam board for two weeks so I won't be in school. There we go and that's it. Next step into the fridge. Set in about two hours and delicious. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you. Last part of the video, it's the taste test. As you can say, see, we've already uh, gone into a major chunk of it already. Um, and I have to say, I've already tasted them, but I'm going to show you what it's like here. You can see all of those gooey bits of marshmallow throughout. And here comes the taste. Mm. That's just too good. Mm. Don't forget. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's great. Mm. Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. Chocolate on my teeth. Thank you. Bye.